five, and it's really the same rigmarole over and over again. Are there other ways to get roots besides using um, Newton's method using derivatives or using Wells' Newton's method? Of course there are. Uh, certainly computers nowadays can find roots of these things rather rapidly, and we do have a formula for that, but it's a lot of work, as you can recall, finding the root of that. So I I'm going to go through Newton's method that we've been uh, covering. So reset. I'm going to define x as a variable now, because I know some students are not comfortable with me not doing that, because always how important it is to define your variables. What's f of x? Well, it's a function. That function is going to be x cubed, and I'm looking for the roots of that function, and 6 um, x squared plus 9 star x minus 3. I'm going to define another function I'm going to call df. We've been doing this for some time now. diff of x. And whoops, sorry about that. I have to put f of x down, don't I? Uh, with respect to x. And let's see what you get there. And then I'm going to define Newton's function. This is Newton's method, by the way, is equal to x minus f of x divided by df of x. Right? Let's see if I did that. Yeah, pretty good. And now I got to get my first guess. And what I'm going to do is plot. I'm going to plot f of x. And let's see what happens. And I see the picture over there. And by the way, I, I don't think that's the picture I wanted because they want me to answer between 3 and 4. So what I want to do is I'm going to replot the function. And I want to do the x min um, equal to 3 and the x max equal to 4. And what I'll have, I get, a, I, get, I get a better looking picture over here. And someone says, oh, what's the number over here? Well, I'm going to say it looks about 3.8. I'm going to say about 3.9. Right, I know it's below that, though, all right? 3.9, I'm going to say. All right, let me close that out. So I'm going to say x naught is 3.9. All right, they want a root between 3 and 4, near 4. And 3.9 certainly hits that category. So let's just do, uh, we want to get another guess. And again, if that's the root, the, the next guess would be 3.9, by the way. But what we're going to do, we're going to evaluate n at x naught, and we want to display x1 now. And that's the number. Better approximation. Again, thinking back to the picture, certainly that makes a lot of sense to me. Now what are you going to do? Well, I want another guess. I'm going to call it x2, and that's going to be Newton's method evaluated x1, and I want to display x2. Has it changed? A little bit. It's changed. Let's do another guess. We're going to, and the machine's doing the guessing for us now by a computation, by the way. And that's going to be n of x2. And we're going to display x3 uh, now. Let's see if there's been a change. There's been a change. Let's keep going. Well, I'm going to do x4 now. x4 is going to be n x3. And we want to display x4. Let's see if there's a change. No change. I got the I got the um, the uh, root to the precision of my machine. All right, or I should say the software really. Machine got to a much better precision than that. So let's see. What guess did they take? Well, they took 3.8. I took 3.9. And but the bottom line is they're going to go towards the same number, and this is the number it's going to go towards eventually. All right. Now, um, you, you notice their guess took a little bit longer to get there. I got there on x4, they got there on x5, all right? So your guess could determine how long this is going to last, by the way. Okay, thank you.